Hey guys, Pete here from the Sunday Drive. Behind me I have my Exoset, and in my hand I have a package from Eximotive, the same people who produced the Exoset. Today we're gonna be installing a bolt upgrade kit for the rear wing mount. So if your Exoset chassis number falls within the range of 020 to 222, those are the last three numbers in the chassis number, then you are eligible to receive this kit for free from Eximotive to upgrade the quarter inch 20 bolts to M8 bolts. And I highly recommend that you do this because in my case, the quarter inch 20 bolts, the heads actually snapped right off and left me stuck with the shaft of the bolt stuck in the frame. So I had to extract those and I wish I had just ordered this kit up when I had found out about it. When this happened to me, I was just doing autocross, but I could have been doing something high speed like racing on the track and someone could have been following me. So I'm gonna show you what comes in this kit and what tools you'll need. It's really simple. Uh, it's really not that complicated at all. So let's get started. So inside the package, it looks like we get a nice little beer koozie, which is holding the bag of parts. Here we have the M8 bolts that we're going to be using. There's eight bolts total. And in the second bag, we have the drill bit and the tap. There's four different options when you order this kit. Option one is just the M8 bolts. Option two gives you a drill bit to the proper size. Option three gives you an M8 tap. And option four will give you a handle to, for the tap to drive it in. Basically, all you need to do is go to the website, which will be in the link in the description below, or you can go to Google and just search Eximotive Bolt Upgrade Kit, and it should be the first result. Other than the hardware that Eximotive provides you with, all you'll need is a socket wrench, an 11 millimeter socket to remove the quarter inch 20 uh, bolts and a 12 millimeter socket to install the M8 bolts. Also, you'll need a drill to drill out the bigger holes for the M8 bolts. Next, grab your M8 tap and something to drive it with. It could be something like this handle or it could be a adjustable wrench. You'll also want to make sure you have some sort of lubricant because you don't want to do this dry. Check it with the M8 bolt, make sure it fits. Perfect. So we got two of the eight holes out of the way. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other six and uh, then we'll put the rear wing back on. I will be honest though, I always get nervous when I do this because I'm just afraid to not go in perfectly straight and not get a good tap. Now that I have the holes drilled and tapped on the Exoset, we're going to actually over drill the hole sizes on the wing mounts. Even though the M8 bolts do fit in the hole, it's a very snug fit and it doesn't give a lot of room to play. I don't want these bolts to be fighting with each other if any of these holes don't align perfectly on the frame of the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is over drill the holes with a 25 64 drill bit. Now we can reinstall the wing. Also, I'm gonna be installing washers with these bolts. When you're reinstalling the wing, you kinda of want to make sure that you keep all the bolts very loose in the holes. You don't wanna tighten any one particular bolt down before all the other bolts are in because you might have to play with some adjustments. All right, so there you go. Upgrading the bolts on this rear wing mount were really simple. It just takes patience because you don't want to mess up the threading in the steel tubes for the, for the chassis. But now that I've done this, I can actually move on to what my next modification was intended to be. And I'm gonna be running steel cable in a crisscross pattern from this far passenger side to the driver's side. And I'm gonna run a cable from the, the driver's side wing to the passenger side of the frame. All right, so I'm over my buddy Dino's house. He's owner of Speed Circuit, and this is the Exocet that he's built. It's an LS-powered beast. It's called the Death Machine. But the modification for the rear wing that I need to do is right here. So he's already done it. If you look, there's 
a crisscross cable, right? So he drilled a hole up here and he's run it all the way across down here to the frame and he's mounted it to the frame with these mounts. So I, I purchased these, they haven't come in the mail yet. Um, and then at the very end he's got these turnbuckles. So he's got the mount, the turnbuckle, cable, cable, cable. He's wired these together and then he goes to the opposite side. Just feeling this wing, it's much, much more stable than mine. Oh yeah. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys.